Hello everyone, Xeno Zimmer here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Wars Coder. Last time, um, uh, got into the Sith Academy. This time, uh, we're doing a bit of questing before anything, but you can probably hear my voice. I'm a bit miffed. It's nothing bad, just game I want is being delayed again. So, yeah. But, let us work with Dustal. You take a I'll wrong say. turn somewhere? Dust? Is that you? Oh, lovely. It's father. Figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the academy? Through the front doors. Cute. I wonder how interested Master Uthar would be to know just who he has in his whip. Unless you've switched sides, father. But I doubt that. Just why are you here, father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Dustal, what, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone, it's Father. Come to rescue me at long last. Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. No, I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins, and your mother... I, mean, I held her while... But I looked for you. I swear I looked everywhere. Ah, oh, save it. You abandoned us long before. We were alone all during the wars, and even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I was needed at... Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now, a family that cares about me. I don't need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. The son I knew would never... You never knew me. You weren't even there to know me. So don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do. I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill you. Get out! Get out of here before I tell the Sith that you're here. I don't need his protection. Not anymore. The Sith give me everything I need. You can't mean that. The Sith are... They're evil. <laughs> They're the dark side. They they took me away from you and your mother. They're, they're what took you from me. No, they are not evil. They're not. The dark side is superior. You, you were at war long before they came along. The Sith war to conquer, to rule the helpless. I went to war for you, Dustal, for your freedom, your future. <laughs> I don't believe you. If I failed you, son, then it's, it's my failure. Please don't add to it by becoming part of something evil. Prove it. Prove that the Sith are so evil, and I'll... I'll think about it. I'm not gonna follow you around, forget it. If you're caught, they'll just think I was betraying them. I'll stay right here. I won't tell anyone you're here, for now. You find some proof, and you bring it to me. If I hear you asking questions about me, or doing a single thing to jeopardize my position in the Sith, I swear I'll tell everyone what you're up to. You got that, father? You prove what you're saying is true. I'm not going anywhere otherwise. I got it, Dustal. I'll be back. I swear it. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Though the Sith Guard coming in. The worst timing. Data pad. That data pad, just take a look at it. I wonder if Dustal knows his friend was disposed of like that. If not, it might convince Dustal that what we're saying about the Sith is true. And it'd be worth a shot. But before that. Just shatter it open. The Jedi Master robe. And he has a Jedi Master robe. Uh -huh. I'm here. Did I almost go back to Dustal? And 
check the other guys later. I'm surprised we could hear the faint force lightning. Back already? So tell me, Father, where's this proof you promised? I have a data pad I want you to look at. You knew someone named Celine? Celine? She's the one who convinced me to come to the academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but he told me he he said that she'd been lost on a mission in the valley. This this says that they killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I I had no idea. They lied to me. Well, there's the son I remember. Now will you leave here? I no. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information from the inside. Something that might help you. I don't suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not gonna do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. I guess it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over we can... talk. I'm still not sure about us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Well, I'd like that. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. You can find me there. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. Honestly? Don't know how to get dog trade points in that mission. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. Sure. You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? <laughs> Funny. Say that after I'm a full Sith and I'll ground your face into the dirt just for fun. You hanging around? That's right. You, I you hanging around? Maybe. You're lying. I can tell. Think what you like. You hanging around? Hey. <laughs> There's nothing you. Yeah, if we don't have persuade, we can't get the spill. But we'll see him later. You? I remember. A duel. Fine. You run along and get ready while. You? Just. Yes, I do want to work with you. I, unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet. That makes sense to you? Go into the valley when... Remember that... This is helpful. For later. Woohoo! If it isn't the freak from the car... You will get yours. Just you wait. We'll see him later too. Hearing that force lightning is going to be annoying. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alguin. I. Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, yes, my master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't. You know. But you, I'm not a Sith yet. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. You're not. I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I, I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? You want to trust me. I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now I, I don't know. I have so many doubts. But where would I go then? What would I do? Have you thought about the Jedi? Uh, I, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank And that is two people rescued. <laughs> we got some more money. Effectively.
And now, we go into the Valley of the Sith. Well, soon. Which way goes up? Yeah. One to the east. Oh, no, this is the Sith Academy entrance. Let's go this way. I'm mainly going in here just to stop Sith lightning. Yeah. There are some students in hiding that refuse to follow an order. Master Uthar wants them found. That's another quest we can do. We'll get to that later. Oh, maybe you could do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. Trying I'm to trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been maddening. Can we have a try? Certainly. Uh, just if you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, I'll. Yes, like you're going to do that. Puna. <laughs> Cover Doom Park. Cover yeah, can't do anything. What what have you done? I told you not to put the prisoner into shock, didn't I? Now how are we I may as well take this fool and dump him somewhere. He's Didn't want to give up anything and Ugh. a bit disappointing, but I believe we still can get enough prestige. I believe the only thing we need to do is do everything in the tombs. Footlocker. Okay, so we'll just go to the footlocker. <laughs> That'll be helpful. Where's yes. Jolie? Oh my god, Jolie. Hmm? Really? Hmm. He's still in Master Ufer's area. Ready. I'm here. Yes. This is why I like the second game. Bit more in this aspect. The AI doesn't get lost. And once we're outside. Uh huh. What?
At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. You are then Despair. You kill Trast. You'll pay for that. Your words mean nothing to me. Unless you wish to beg for your life. No? Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Let's do it. Dark King. Yeah, I got that. You ask for this. This is gonna be bad. The last time. Change that to heavy plating three. <laughs> and we've got a shy rack worm. Never too long for me. Let's see what you got. Alright, the efficiency at its best. But going to the Shirat Caves is what we really want. There's gonna be a lot of Shirax here. So we must be prepared.
lot of Chirac. And this is where we want to be, because there is some um, powerful monsters for experience. <laughs> Better than what we've got. And, but it's pretty to the light side, so Jolie cannot use it. And an evil side protagonist can't. Okay, so there's nothing there, so we'll go across again. And we search the cave more thoroughly. And if we talk to Thalia... Hold okay. it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. Go back? What are you talking about? You mean you aren't here to kill us or bring us back? I find that hard to believe. The only way into these caves is through the Academy. You must be a Sith. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! You're the Renegade students. So you around. have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? My name is Thalia May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Maybe I can help you. Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? Give me a chance and I'll prove it to you. You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that? Passage already clear. It, it's clear? We can go. Thank you. This... I wasn't expecting help from anyone in the Academy. I guess we aren't the only ones who don't agree with everything. Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. I've seen how evil the dark side is. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives. Skills. And we cannot get repair. Flurry. Force immunity for now.
Okay. I don't believe there is much else. Oh, I've been getting blown up, apparently. Sif Corpse. I believe that's the last thing. I don't believe there's any more enemies we can get from here, sadly. Either. So, here we are. To the Valley of the Dark Lords. The Dark Lords. All right, better do one thing before anything. We need you, honey. I believe it's not you. Stack. There we go. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. Who are you? My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I, I, I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look, I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough? Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. A ticket you two know each other. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask, and I'll be on my way. We can ask other people for these things. So do I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. Dak... ...is actually someone who's in love with Juhani. Speaking of Juhani, I better start st stacking her up. Because, being real, she's going to start lagging behind otherwise. We need to make sure that I start. Do wielding. Heal. Lightsaber. Destroy droid. Destroy Droid will be very useful in the final battle. Final area. Force resistance. Awareness. Feats. Stasis. You know what? I'll let Johanna come along. Take different people into each tomb. The tomb of Marco Ragnos. Excessive audio input must be kept from the master. Ah! <laughs> 
Data recorder and self sound dampening unit. We need this if I want to do this non vital way. However, I don't believe I have enough persuasion, nor do I remember the way to do it. So I'm going to do this the more aggressive way. Too much audio input. Audio systems overloading. Must destroy source of disturbance. Must kill sentience. Silently, with sound dampener, we can talk to him. Show you the dark side. What focus? Lightsaber. This is actually pretty good gear if you're dark side. Makes you a better Sith Lord than anything. Now, if we go out. Door to the valley. Switch out. Uh, because you two won't really get anything, and because I can't bring Basila, you two will come for this. Okay, feet, flurry. Except, yeah, this episode's a lot of leveling. Power attack. No, we'll do we'll do the quest down here, and then go to the next tomb. La Chau. let's go. There you are, finally. If you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. I've been calling to the Takata mother in their language. She should respond fairly. 
Ah, here she comes now. Get ready. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. And yet, also be taken out in practical attack. Wonderful. <laughs> the beast is dead. We work better together than I would have hoped. And here is the holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution. You Once more. Forget it. You're not getting the whole. Back off. I'm wa over my. And no matter what, we'll go we'll under the best. So, and there's the holocron. Fair kit. And now we're going to one of the most famous Dark Lord tombs. The one with probably the least amount of combat. Tomb of Ajunta Pal. Paul. Ajunta Paul. The very first Siffler. Very infamous. Very known. Huh? Your need. What? Why? The why is all bar. Shower open. Severed arm though gives us a data pad and the Ferrigen Obelisk. Let's give it an item. Let's see what would be useful. And we accidentally awaken these droids. Careful. First, pull that lever. Yeah, trap. Let's just walk through it. We don't need to worry about it anymore. And we get a tomb door. Save before. Because this is important. Oh, 
open it. It's the only one we can open without it. And we get three swords. A vibro sword, a silver lint sword, and a notched steel sword. There's a corpse there. Too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. A human. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? Disturb your rest? Are you some kind of ghost? I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid, hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. You were a Sith Lord from ancient times? Ancient? Has it been so long that you used the word ancient? I have been here so long, so lost. I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first. The first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought. So wrong. What do you mean by those we had betrayed? Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the dark side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came to hide, to grow, and here we fell. What can you tell me about this place? Our temple, our tomb, built far from our enemies. We revered power and threw off the teachings of our old masters. It. We were not the first to fall to the dark side, but we had more power than those before us. It came from elsewhere. What do you mean? Our Where? oldest secret. Only, only we would know, we lords, only we would know where our power came from. Tell me the secret. The force no longer touches my mind. Human. And even if it did, I, I no longer remember our secret. The force bristles in you. You must find this place with it. Or have you? Or did you? Or will you? Oh, so many images. I see your heart, human Jedi. I see your power, your pride. You, you will find the old place, the dark place. And you will regret it. Why do you remain here? Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride. And it is buried with me now. A corpse as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness, in death, as in life. I feel sorry for you. Most of my brethren would desire only to take what power I have left, even if it would destroy them. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. What do you want me to do with it? If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end, it is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. 
And if the sword isn't yours? Then you must die. This is how it must be. How will I know which sword it is? I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Harkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. That's very vague. Thankfully, I think I still remember the actual sword. Silver line sword. The blade is long and straight sparkles. With a silver glow, of a bouquet brighter as the hilt is touched. It's quite warm. It appears that the blade becomes white hot once it is equipped. Such a fire weapon would be devastating as an unarmed opponent. A small scene of a flame is pressed upon the hint. The fibro sword. The most vibro like most vibro blades, this weapon lets off a dim humming sound. Once activated, its length shimmers with a deep blue colour force field. So it's black of charcoal. The signet of the hill shows that of a red baleful eye. The blade of the sword is ebony black. And etched along its length to give a cruel, jagged appearance. There's a strange visual effect upon the sword that makes it seem like as if shadow pulse and ebb along the surface it is very cool to touch. Upon small suspension, a small insignia of a dark circle can be spotted at its hilt. But just in case, I have forgotten. Because I'm quite sure it is the silver sword. But just in case, always save before this. Because you can't truly get the sword. Because the stats do change. Place the sword in the hilt. I believe. The silver line sword. All of them will say that. You'll lose it for now. We'll go back to Junta no, Hall. That is not the one. My ancient sword is black as the night sky. <sighs> I got it wrong. I know it's not the notch one because I don't believe the no notch one is correct, even though you think it would be. But we can use this to at least show. But I'll at least show and see if it is actually correct. And if it is, then it's slightly randomized. Which, if it is, god damn it, I've been getting lucky this time. I don't believe it is. Or is that, or I'm misremembering. Yes, oh, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades, even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. There's no need to remain here. Is there no need? What choice have I? You can turn return to the left side and your torment. Return? But I betrayed my old masters. They would never let me return to the light side. It is too late. Too late. And suppose you're right. What then? Then I have the eternity I deserved. It has taken me so long to realize that. I made my choice long ago. Be at peace. If you have good convincing, you can actually turn him to the light. I don't, sadly. But hey. If you can, it's a, probably one of the most impressive feats in the entire series. Convincing. One of the first Dark Lords, Sith Lords, to turn to the lie. Oh. I forgot you were here, Chardon. So, the spineless worm actually made it through the tomb. I'm impressed. Chardon, what do you want? Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of a Junt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden, after all. You're not taking anything from me. 
Impressive bravado, I'm sure. Do you honestly think I would let an opportunity to impress Master Uthar pass me by so easily? Especially not for a pathetic excuse for a Sith like yourself. Hand over the sword, worm. You know I'm the superior here. And if I don't... Isn't it obvious? You die. Rule of the Sith. Only the strong and cunning shall survive. You won't be missed, trust me. Now hand it over. Just let me get out. Fine. No tricks, though. I'm watching you. Let's give him the silver line. Smart move. You're obviously more pathetic than I could have even imagined. Thanks for the sword, worm. And you haven't even confirmed anything. The only negative is that we lose, honestly, a pathetic sword. <laughs> Because at this point, it's not great. You? You have the sword. The sword of a gentle ball. That's it, isn't it? How did you ever acquire it? I got it from a gentle himself, as you must Are know. Are you joking with me? The Sith Lord still lives? No, not oh, exactly. That is quite interesting. Uh, my mentor told me that Sith apparitions might be possible, but I never truly believed it. Well, thank you for the information. I must go and inform my mentor at once of this strange news. This is actually an interesting detail. We can see him again later. And lastly... Right. Skills. Let's go. Shadow's body's disappeared. Tomb of Taluk or Huh? What? Let's go. Repair droid. Repair everything. What? What? Let's go. Now this droid will be very helpful.
Mandalorian battle armor. Console. Open the door. And it's slowly doing this. Noxious fumes surround you. Your party joker falls over. Uh, except for the droid. The droid can't. <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. Who are you? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. No, I've never heard about you. <laughs> no? Blast it! What have they been teaching you children in that academy these days? Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith. But not the gumption that I'm looking for. And what if I refuse to take your test? Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché. But you would die, of course. You're a madman. Ah, what's a little mental instability between tutor and pupil? What's important is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job. I'm sure we could. You could even try using your feminine wiles on me. But quite frankly, I'm quite determined and not above killing a woman, even a pretty one. Perhaps you have some questions. I'm not above delaying the test a bit. The results are always the same. Go ahead, do your worst. No, no. Is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Mikol. Get it wrong? And I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. Oh? It's just how long have you been a Sith, anyhow? A bit dainty around the edges, aren't we? Well, then. Any last comments before we begin, Miko? Uh, we could both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad. Do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you? Risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die, hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? The correct answer is kill him in secret and put the blame on someone else. 
else or use opportunity to kill it. This is the one. That is incorrect. Incorrect! What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, well. It's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? The correct answer is these two. I accept the reward in the system. So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no. Bad idea, bad idea. At any rate, here is your punishment. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? He's looking for keeping it to yourself. You gained an advantage and you share it freely? Let them rip the secret from my dead hands, I say. I mean, share it? Are you mad? Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? Give him another chance is the incorrect answer. Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? To make it look like you are weak and deserving of attack? No, 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 no. Think again. Hmm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well. Here's your reward. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? All these are wrong. You cannot get the right answer unless you're dark side, I believe. I pass on my knowledge. Fool! It's a trick question! A true Sith never dies! <laughs> I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine! Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or, or I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! And we took a lot of damage. But before that, we can just... Use a life support. And improve for it. Now... <laughs> Usually they're inside. I guess he wasn't a true Sith after all. I can't believe that I'm alive. You saved me. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. Nobody deserves like that. Nobody. Yes. Well, I see what you mean. I've never... I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't... I mean, if you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. This could be a chance to change your ways. You mean, the light side? I've never thought about that. Can you... Can you even go back? I've done some... I mean... I've hurt a lot of people. I... I don't think the light side is for me. But maybe neither are the Sith. 
Maybe it's time for me to leave. Thanks, I suppose. And good luck. I got lucky. How low my charisma is, I should not have been able to convince him. These doors, we can bash open. Them. This is the only tomb that allows you to do that, and it gives you some kyber crystals. We want to break these open. Oh, oh. Wonder. And that, that'll be it for this episode. We cleared all the ruins of the Sith Lord. Of course, we're nowhere near close to being able to repair HK-47. So, Next time on Star Wars Coder, we'll give all these back to Master U4, but we won't go into the last tomb because, well, obviously the last tomb is the tomb where the star map is. It's just that way, and we can't enter it. So, this is Zeno and Zuma signing out.